because you're explaining how in your first year you were open, second year, middle, third year, opposite. So this was your breakout year. And to think that you, like coach wasn't sure kung saan ka na ilalagay. And then dun ka pa nagka-breakout year sa position that you ended up in. I wasn't starting for the seg- seven games. Oh, he only was took it, me w- in Ateneo, which was her last oh. game for the first round. Yun. Kasi like, when I was looking at the stats, it was in the second round na talagang ano na eh. Like, dun ka nag-break out. As in like, double digit scoring every match. And then there was one match against NU na naka 25 points ka, which was your career high in the UAAP. And then this was all the way hanggang sa nag-champion kayo. And it was like the redemption year of La Salle. So what was the turning point, Kiana? I mean, like you go from going from one position to another and then you elevate your game considering the fact that nung first round hindi ka, hindi ka naglalaro. How did you do that? How did you flip the switch? Um, for me, because in my college year, my first two years, you know, it was really a struggle. Like I didn't know if I was um, really meant for the sport, if I can... Parang, it really tested my patience. Like, it really questioned my abilities to play. Because, you know, um, I wasn't being used that much. So, that really takes a toll on, on, on a player. And then, parang third year, yun talaga na parang I was so sad. Because there was this game, I remember, like, he put everyone in except me. Wow. Nung third year ko. So, I was like, um, uh, I, as in, I was really crying after the game. Na parang, ayoko na, ayoko na. <laughs> Cry baby. Parang ayoko na, parang, ano ba yan? Like, ako lang yung hindi pinasok and stuff like that. So, yun. And then, and then after that game, parang during the trainings, it was super obvious that I was sad and stuff like that. I wasn't really talking to anyone. Kasi, yun nga, parang a lot was going on in my mind. And then Coach Ramil, um, he... He noticed that I was like that. So, parang after a team meeting, he talked to me personally. Na parang, he said, don't worry, gagamitin kita. Parang, gagamitin kita for a game. Maghintay ka lang. So, from, from, from that day na he told me that, parang nag, pumalit talaga yung aura ko na. I was so excited na, oh, I thought he was gonna use me, ganun, ganun. So, like, I was really, like, Doing, trying my best, doing my best during trainings to show coach na parang I, I deserve to play. <laughs> parang this was enough na parang I didn't want to feel like that anymore, like how I felt. And then yon, he told me he was going to use me for that Ateneo game. That um that round. So I was like, this is my chance. It's now or never. Because for Coach Ramil, like tatatak talaga sa kanya yung laro mo. So I was like. This is it talaga. This is the chance he's giving me. If I don't play well here in this game, he's not going to use you anymore. So it's like, that was really in my mind. That I have to do really good in this game. So, yun. I think, kasi coach talaga, he really, ano eh, yung words niya talaga, parang I really take it in. Like, it really means a lot to me. So, yun, parang that's when it started. Like, when he said na, don't worry, I'm gonna use you. Just wait. That really, you know, ignited my fire to really do good. Parang, I still have a chance to prove that I can play in this level and stuff like that. So, Grabe. yeah. Tapos nagtuloy-tuloy, ha? Hanggang sa nag-finals MVP. Galing, <laughs> galing din, ha? Like, uh, I, I never heard that story. And it's crazy how one moment like that can change the the direction of a player's mm-hmm. career, no? Grabe. Yeah. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.